Well, I'm guessing many of you have seen these and know what this is. It's a case tumbler. Uh, you put uh, brass uh, cartridges in here with uh, some type of abrasive material, uh, walnut shells, uh, corn cob, clay, uh, and uh, you turn it on and it vibrates. And after a period of time of the vibration, it will slowly polish your brass, clean it, and uh, you can uh, reload. I've got a couple of these I don't use anymore. Uh, and I have uh, a need to make something because I'm tired of doing this for 10 minutes at the time. So what we're going to do is convert this and make it a paint shaker. Now, as it is, there's not a lot to it. It's basically like a bowl that sits on top of a motor with springs. There we go. The trouble is... We need it to shake, and it's just vibrating. And the other problem is, this is going to be in my way. So we're going to remove this and replace it with something. Let me show you how these things uh, are made. It's really simple. All that's in here is a C-frame motor. Or get this bracket. It's just this little motor right here. And what they do is they put a weight on the shaft offset. So when the motor turns, it vibrates. The vibration is controlled by these springs. So whatever you want vibrating is what the motor is attached to. So our motor is attached to this pedestal and the springs are attached to the base. So the base tends to uh, absorb the vibration and the vibration is transferred to this bucket. So I'll show you what it looks like in here. Really nothing to it. Okay. Well, this one here's got a fan on it. I guess it was a... <laughs> I don't know if that helped with the balance or they just left and that's how these come with it and they just left it on it. But turn it on, let you see what it's doing. When I cut it off, you go to see it. Shimmy down. So there's your, there is the weight on the shaft. So what we need to do is to control how this is vibrating. And the way to do that is by changing the speed. What I'm going to change the speed of this with is what they call, I think, a, like a router uh, uh, speed controller. You have to have a... A device that is just on or off. It cannot be variably sp uh, sped or, or controlled like a, uh, uh, a a jigsaw or a reciprocating saw. They already have a small one of these in the motor, so these these don't work effectively with them. So what we'll do is I'm going to plug the controller into our speed controller here, and I'll show you how it's going to work. We'll just go ahead and do, see we have a variable speed or full speed. If I go full speed, it's going to act just like it was before. If, <laughs> if I cut it on. Okay, here we go. See, it's just vibrating. But 
if we put it to variable speed and slow the motor down a little bit and don't let this uh, weight balance out as intended, we now have something that's shaking. That's what we want. So, what we're gonna do, we unplug it and get things out of the way. Because this is not ideal. I want more of a funnel and I need this out of the way. We're gonna remove the bowl. We're gonna use this base. And one you may have, may, uh, or run up on, it may be fitted a little differently. But this is just attached on this particular simply by three bolts. So there we go. There is our unit. So we've got our motor, which is attached to this, the pedestal. That's what's vibrating. What I wanna do is to have something more up and down that I can control. I've already cut something out to save a little bit of time. What I've done, cheapy me, I've just cut a round circle that would fit within this area right here. And to it, I have attached a coffee can. And in a coffee can, I've just put a little uh, uh, material to uh, help hold whatever uh, uh, paint can or a container I put in here. So what we'll do is we just have this where we set it up, press it down in there, get my little screw gun going again. Show you this doesn't take any time at all. Now, let us see how this performs now. Back in, bring the back in. Okay, we're gonna cut it back on. Now that's pretty good. slow it down, speed it up. If you get it to a certain speed and you stop it and let it go, it will actually go back to vibrating. Now the other thing that you're gonna to need to do when this is finished is you will need to mount it onto something that won't vibrate around. I've got a little table I'm gonna mount this to, but just for yucks, let's just put our little paint in there, I don't have room for the top, but it's not gonna matter. Let's see how it does. I said I could turn it up a little if I need to. So I could just turn that on for 10 minutes and forget it and come back and I'll be pretty good. All right. Let's get this thing mounted to a little base so it won't move, and let's see how it's working. And put our last one in. Okay, I said, this is not rocket science. This is simple, and it took me 10 minutes to make after I figured out controlling the speed. So now, I said we've got our paint in here. I 
I can walk away and come back. Unlike trying to do one of these with a Sawzall or a reciprocating saw, you have to hold that the whole time. This here, again, this is something that if you went to buy one today, you could get it, I don't know, between $40 and $50 for one of these, convert it to do this for free, or you could go buy a paint shaker and that would cost you, I don't know, $150. So, now, to do a gallon can, I don't know, you, you may have to be a little more creative, have something bigger up here. But, uh, for something like this, to do your, uh, maybe do your uh, uh, spray paint, or these little uh, pints, perfect. Anyway, hope y'all found this helpful and useful, and as usual, Good luck with your projects.